is known for. beautiful morning um i got here a little early been here for i don't know about an hour hour and a half or so um just spent some time cleaning this log a little bit um lesson from week one was uh really check for rocks <laughs> um in that i learned by by throwing these pulling these logs out of the snow and ice um sure makes a huge difference when it comes to cleaning that saved me a ton of time um and i was really able to kind of really look them over which i spent quite a bit of time looking this one over um went to town the other day um with my wife and was able to swing into the hardware store and grab a few things that i knew would help um grabbed a pretty good sized wire brush real stiff old real stiff bristled brush um and that, that's made a huge difference so coming across here with this wire brush was really able to get i picked off a lot of the bark as earlier when i set it on last week um but yeah another red cedar um, I'll be working on red cedar for quite a while, so um, got a pretty good stash of them here. Um, so, yeah, picked it picked it pretty clean. Um, it's about about twenty inches in diameter on the small side, so um, I kind of downloaded a log a board foot calculator. So we'll see see how efficient I am or how accurate the calculator is. I'm using a Doyle scale. Um, which in my research seems to be a pretty, pretty commonly used scales. Um, if not, let me know. Um, but that's, that's kind of where I'm at. I think I'm going to cut, uh, some two by sixes as a 12 foot log. Um, so I think I'm going to cut some two by sixes, uh, maybe some two by fours. We'll kind of see, um, we got kind of some nasty weather coming in. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but we got some kind of crappy weather coming in a little bit later this week.
After much difficulty, all on my own part, got this log uh, locked in place. It is nice and secure and exactly how I'm wanting it. Um, kind of my egg-shaped log-ish. Um, got that other one milled up, got cleaned up. Uh, took a little lunch break. Um, I got, uh, I don't remember the exact counts. I'll put the counts in the description. Um, but I, I got about 220 board foot out of it. Um, now on that Doyle scale that I'm using, that app that I'm using, it said that that log should have been around 243, uh, board feet. Now you got to factor in quite a bit of waste or some waste, 10% or so. Um, so I guess the math checks out. I didn't anticipate that I would be, um, that close to, to it. I figured I'd have a little bit more waste, but that, I'm not complaining. That's awesome. Um, I've not done the math on this one. I'll do the math on this one. Um, it's a pretty good size log, bigger than that last one by, by a decent amount. So, um, it's 12 footer also. Um, I think it was about, uh, a little 22, 23 inches at this side, quite a bit bigger on that side, but, um, I'll get what I can if I got to get some short chunks of one by four or two by four, um, just to deal with kind of the taper. Um, also what I've done is this, this dog here is, um, at a, at a taller height than that one. So I've kind of tried to build in a bit of a, uh, a taper in the log dogs that I've got set up. So it seems to be working. Um, we'll kind of find out once I throw the other log dog in there and start working on some longer stuff, but that's kind of where I'm at. I'm going to get going and see what I can come up with. Another learning lessons series. Um, so I've been feeling yesterday and today that this thing just isn't, it wasn't cutting like I thought it should or could. Um, the one by sixes, it was really slow. 
Um, so, but I, I'm new, I'm new to all of this. So, um, I just wasn't sure a hundred percent. Um, and it just kept, kept bogging down. It never stopped or anything like that today. Like it did the other day, but it started poking around. Um, and I, I had a, when I first got this and had it first set up, um, a friend of mine that was helping me set it up, um, mentioned that the belt looked a little loose. Um, I kind of brushed it off at the moment because um, in some of the training boat videos that DNL sends sends with the mill, um, it was mentioned, but it was you know typically they're fine out of the factory, shouldn't be a concern out of the gate. So I just took it at that. Um, that belt was loose. Um, I took a little video. Maybe I'll put it in here. Um, but long story short, or longer story longer, um, I went ahead and tightened that belt up and um holy moly it made a huge difference um i'm just plowing through one by sixes and you can even tell in the shavings maybe not in video but um the shavings are way way bigger um than what they were so just just still learning guys that's just all there is to it um and yeah this belt was just just pretty loose um and once i tightened that that up um it is just running running like i like i thought it would or and could um this the belt back here um it is much tighter maybe a little too tight maybe i don't know i don't know it seems okay i guess um but yeah that's clutch that was smoking the other day and i think honestly i think that's that's what it was was that belt was just uh too loose and not biting enough um like it should have so that is all on me but still a good day nonetheless. I'm kind of excited to see what I could get in a full day with that thing running like like it. I knew it could and, and would. Um, this is my stack. I got pretty much this is all from today almost. Um, and yeah, I've, I've had a great day and got to wrap it up. Um, be over here tomorrow cleaning up a little bit. Um, yeah, kind of get ready for for the nasty weather we got coming. But I know it doesn't look like it, but it is well on its way so appreciate you guys we'll uh see you guys later ah,